In this video, I'll be talking about exothermic and endothermic processes. And in previous videos, we talked about different systems, systems that can absorb or release energy. And well, we also said that because we are studying thermochemistry, that energy is heat. Well, as you may think, there will, there will be two different processes. There will be a process that absorbs and a process that releases energy. And these are called exothermic and endothermic processes. So let's first talk about exothermic. Exothermic. In exothermic processes, heat will flow out of the system into the, the surroundings. So heat. out of system to surroundings or in other words energy is released from the system and well if you think about it that will give us a delta E value of less than zero, so negative. Because if if you release energy, in other words, you're losing energy. So losing. And I think I forgot to to say that delta E. Delta E is just the difference in energy. So final minus initial so in an exothermic process you will have more energy at the beginning than at the end meaning that your difference in energy will be less than zero or negative and it's because you lose energy the the, the system is releasing the energy so you lose it into the surroundings and a very common example about exothermic process is just fire I mean when you get close to fire, you can see that it's re it's releasing heat into into the the surroundings because if you put your hand close to it, it will heat up. You will feel the warmth of of the fire, the heat of the fire, and well, it could also get to very severe cases like this. So an explosion is an exothermic process. It releases an enormous amount of energy. Now let's talk about the other type of process, and that's an endothermic process. Endothermic. And if an if an exothermic process, if in an exothermic process the the system releases energy, in an endothermic process, the system absorbs energy. So, in other words, the heat will flow from surroundings into system. So, the, the system absorbs energy from the surroundings. And well, if something is gaining energy, its difference in energy, or delta E, will be positive. The, the energy at the end will be higher than the, than the energy you had the, at the beginning. So the difference in energy will be positive. And well, this is also something uh, uh, people do every day. So in this case, the egg is the system, as you can see in here. And, uh, and the PAM is our surroundings. So the, the egg is absorbing the energy from the surroundings to get cooked. So that's why it's an endothermic process. So in an exothermic process, the system releases. In an endothermic process, the system absorbs.